Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Scott and today we're going to be showing you how to install a Stage 3 spoiler and aero kit on a C7 Corvette. Hi, I'm Gina and this is our 96 LT4 Collector's Edition. You're watching the Corvette channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe. So today we're going to be installing a Stage 3 Aero Kit and a Stage 3 Spoiler on my wife's 2016 Corvette. So we're going to break this into three separate parts. So in, in the case that you just buy the front splitter or you just buy the side skirts or just the spoiler, you'll be able to fast forward to those or just watch that individual video on its own. So sit back, relax, and we'll be showing you how to do each piece. So before I get started, um, there's a few things I want to touch base on, on what you're going to need. Uh, thank you, Terry. You're welcome. Um, you're going to need a, a nylon pry bar kit, which you can get from uh, Harbor Freight very inexpensively. I think it was $7.99. Um, it does come with the full instruction set for all the different modules that you're going to be doing, because we broke this into three different modules, one for the, the uh, front splitter as well as the side skirts, and also for the, uh, the Stage 3 um, spoiler. Uh, so all the instructions are included, all of the hardware is included, except for the uh, wide sticky tape that you're going to want to use on the front splitter as well as the side skirts. The sticky tape that's used for the stage 3 uh, um, spoiler on the back, it does come with that, but you will not need any other hardware besides that. Uh, as far as uh, Tools, you're going to need a 7mm socket, you're going to need a 10mm socket as well as a ratchet and an extension, and you will need a uh, T15 Torx as well as the, you're going to still have to use your ratchet and the extension for that. Um, besides that, I believe that's all there is that you're going to need besides the nylon pry bar kit. Again, this is from uh, Harbor Freight, you can get these for about $7.99. Um, on my car today, you're going to be seeing, actually, this is not my car, this is Jennifer's car, my wife's car. Um, you're going to be seeing that it's a Z51, and it already has a Z51 spoiler on the back. Now, if you had gotten a base car uh, and didn't have the, uh, the spoiler on the back, um, it comes with a, uh, a template right here inside the box uh, to be able to put that up and know exactly where to drill the holes. Uh, but if you're pulling a Z51 spoiler off, then the holes are exactly the same. You will not have to do any drilling. So just wanted to cover all that ahead of time. Um, so that's, that's about it. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start with the video and we'll get you going. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to just double-sided tape all the way along the bottom of it. Just It's a, extra security to make sure that nothing falls off and all that. There's a little line right here. And this line is a protective coating that they put up on here and so forth. Well, this is the bottom of it right here. You want to go just just at that or below it a little bit. You don't want it on this edge. You put it on this edge. When you put it on, when you look down here, you'll be able to see it. You don't want to see it. So put it just down, maybe not even, maybe a quarter of an inch, about all you need to do. And just run this all the way along. And you can't, don't just stretch it out and put it on because the body curves, okay? Mm -hmm. So you got to kind of line it as you go. Like right about here is where that protective stuff goes away. But if you stay away about a quarter of an inch from this edge, you'll be, you should be fine. Okay, let me cut this off. I'm just going to pull the double-sided tape covering off of it. Okay. Now, we'll come up here and there's a 7 millimeter screw. There's two of them here. One, as you can see, this here is holding this on, the front. You want this one, the second one back, the one closest to the rear. It's the only one you got to take off. 
Now that I've got the screw out and stuff, there's a hole right here. It's the only screw you need, and you just, just get it started like I've done before. Okay, and then come in the back and make sure that these line up. Okay, so I'm going to hold it here in the middle, and Scott is going to hold that in to make sure it lines up. And we're going to get it right on the body line. The sticky tape is just basically there to get this set up for us screwing it in. Okay. okay. That should be it right there. There we go. Okay. Now I just gotta get these little screws started. And there you go. All right. Now we're gonna go along and put all the rest of the screws along the bottom. I would like to thank Extreme Online Store for sponsoring this episode of the Corvette Channel. Okay. Start right here in the middle. There's little holes that they've got that you can, so you can get them started and know where to put them. That's all they are. It's real kind of simple to put in there. Let's get this one back here. Okay, got another one. Got two more right here. And one in the back. And we got one right here. And I believe that's the installation to this. There you go. Okay. That should be the installation of that. Okay, on this side, we're gonna do it a little different than we did the other side. We put the tape on the piece. Now we're gonna see <clears throat> that you can do it either way, whatever's convenient for you, then it can be done either way. Thank you, Scott. Mm -hmm. Now, I still wanna put it down here the same way and put this screw in the front first. This lines everything up. Let me get this in here where we want it, and then we can start at one end and start working it. So we can line it up. How you doing back there? This here looks pretty good. And we are right on. As you can see guys right there, that's okay, how it so fits right into that lip. Just kind of, with your hand just hold it there until I get a couple so, screws in it. Okay, so I'm holding it up there like that. We still lined up right here? Oh, we are still lined up, yep. Okay. Looks good. See like that, guys? Look at, this looks great. Look at that. Seam matches right up. Two more, and this side here will be done. One more screw and our arrow is finished. All we have left will, will be the stage three spoiler on the back. Okay, dude. All, all right. All. Take a look at that, guys. Okay. It's like a glove. I want to tighten this screw up in the front. Yep, we used for lining it up, and we're good. So guys, hopefully you found this video helpful and informative. 
And when it comes time for you to be able to put your spoilers and your aero kit on your car, you'll have no problems putting it on. If you follow the instructions and, you've, and you follow our video to the T, you're not going to have any problems. So I just want to thank you all for watching, supporting the channel, and you guys have a great night. Thank you for watching the Corvette channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe.